Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. Casey Durango here of Kokita with Casey. Be warned, Cuckoo's going to go off in just a moment. She's a little bit slow. Our grandmother clock just finished. Of Go Keto with Casey, where I like to talk about how I've lost 97.4 pounds since starting the ketogenic protocol, how you may be able to lose weight, improve your health, and regain control of your life like I did. Um, I'm going to jump right on in uh, after I say what I'm drinking. Hashtag Casey's Pink Drink. Glass, because I, I get asked about it almost every time. Tall glass, full of ice, mostly diet tonic water. I just get the store brand, whatever it is. A splash of diet cranberry juice. Our brand happens to be Ocean Spray. Diet cranberry juice and a squeeze of lime. It's very crisp and tart. Uh, okay, so I'm going to assume you guys can see and hear me. Someone said hi. Um, today's topic is well, you know, sometimes we can get a little burnt out. I know that in the last year and a half. There are many things about which we may be burnt out, uh, fatigued. Even when something is good and healthful, like the ketogenic protocol, we can be bombarded with it so much that it's just too much. It's too much. But we get sucked in, right? Particularly if we're fairly new to the protocol. To let those of you who are unfamiliar with the protocol or need a refresher, and all I can do is tell you how I learned it and as I have practiced it for now over seven and a half years. Keep carbohydrate intake to 20 grams or fewer a day. Total carbs, not net carbs. Net carbs is just more carbs. If it's not on page four, link below, don't eat it. But you don't even need a page of food. It's fat. There's Kuka. She's quite slow. Um, fatty sources of protein. Limited amounts of non-starchy vegetables, I mean really limited, and limited amounts of full-fat dairy. That's it. Don't eat if you're not hungry. Stop when you're satiated, not stop when you're stuffed. Those last two parts are the most challenging. But that's the protocol. But you would know that. You, you would think it's much more complex. And, and many more hoops through which we must jump based on the number of YouTube channels, Facebook pages, Facebook groups, um, meal plans being sold, products being sold, it's not more complex. How do we deal? First of all, we can just become burned out because maybe we've been trying and either results are not happening as quickly as we had hoped Please keep in mind that the great success stories that you hear about on the covers of magazines and on Facebook groups and pages, first of all, some of them are apoc apocryphal. They're just not true. Some are just made up. There was a very famous instance several years ago of a, a modified, it, it was kind of keto, but another twist to it. And this person went from being morbidly obese to being quite svelte and on the cover of a magazine. Turns out she was still morbidly obese and the cover on the magazine had been scraped from the internet. It was actually a, from a, a Russian bride website. So be careful of what you believe. But even the stories that are true of rapid weight loss over a short period of time, um, th that's not the norm. I was the norm. I can't show you my before photos because I, I can't do the sh screen sharing here on YouTube. I can do it on Crowdcast, which I do sometimes. But you can see it at my blog, caseydurango.com, link below. Just look at my, and they're not even my before photos. They're like, you know, they're not at my heaviest. And I was overweight, obese, morbidly obese for 30 years. And I'd given up on losing weight. I had a lot to lose. I'm 5'1". I'm actually 115 and a half pounds off my heaviest weight. So I had a lot to lose. Even with that and being a, absolutely on point with the protocol from the moment I started it. I lost 47 pounds the first year, which is on average less than a pound a week. Took two years to lose the next 50 pounds. And I was fine with that. Totally fine with that. I felt so much better. 
I had spent so many years trying to lose, just, just let me lose 10 pounds this year. And I would put on three by the end of the year. Anyway, so we can get burnt out because we keep thinking that we should have somebody else's results or what we think are somebody else's results. And you try and people, people say, and I counsel against this, against this, I only lost 16 pounds in three months. That's fantastic. 16 pounds in six months is fantastic. We wouldn't say I only put on 16 pounds in six months. We'd be so sad if that happened. But that's, we kind of get, we need to have realistic expectations. We also need to realize that if we are metabolically ill underneath the skin, some of these things have got to be addressed before the sexy weight loss starts. The more exciting. If the scale bothers you, don't use it. If it ruins your day, don't use it. But we can get burnt out if we keep waiting for something to happen on the scale. And we go and say, just forget about it. Pass the pretzels. If Debbie Doctor is here, I can say pass the pretzels. Because that's her thing. Pretzels are, you know, she has to really avoid pretzels. I mean, she has to... She, they're a thing for her. For some people, it's peanut butter. For some people, it's ice cream. Um, peanut butter is the devil. So we can get burnt out. How do we avoid that? Adjust our expectations. Look at what is better. Joint pain going away. Not needing migraine medication. Not waking up in the middle of the night with acid reflux. Tummy issues resolving, not needing an afternoon nap, finally being able to remember your own address after years of brain fog. These things are real improvements. They are not just, oh, well, that's nice, but when is the scale going to move? No, these things are very important. How to avoid burnout. Another way, I really feel this strongly, and I know this is ironic considering the platform from which I'm speaking. Step away from the glowing screens. I had the advantage when I started this seven years ago, there just were not many YouTube channels about keto specifically. I watched, I watched recordings of lectures. I didn't watch YouTube personalities. There were a couple that I saw, but I, you know, I quickly kind of moved on because not for nothing, I'm not hating on them at all. But some of these people were kind of slightly pudgy 20-somethings. I'd been morbidly obese for longer than many of these people had been alive. I could not identify. I could not relate to wanting to lose 18 pounds at age 24 and having this be a whole reason. And plus, they would be getting the keto. Because once you start a YouTube channel, you'll get offers for, let us send you some products. Even in my nascent days of doing this, I knew that packaged products, it's very difficult to stay under 20 total carbs because packaged means they have to have stabilizers, which means they have carbs for the most part. Step away from it. It's too much information. A lot of it contradictory. A lot of it's just made up. Just, let's just, when, when I used to be um, in my former career, I was in real estate for 30 years. Um, people would want, you know, how much should I list my house for? They'd want to know that while you're standing on their front porch or standing in their living room after having just looked through the house for three minutes. And some agents would do that. It's called a PFA. Pull it from the air. Pull a number from the air. Doesn't matter what it's, if it's based on actual, you know, logic and comparables. But some of these so-called facts that are being promulgated are PFAs. They're pulling it from the air. Or they heard someone else saying, think it must be true. I'm going to repeat the protocol. Keep your carbohydrate intake 20 grams or fewer a day. Total not net. If it's not on page four, don't eat it. Don't eat if you're not hungry. Stop when you're satiated. Guess what's not noted? Grams of anything other than carbohydrate. Not grams of protein, grams of fat. Not how many times a day you eat. Not what time of day you eat. Not the proportion of the so-called macronutrients. Well, they are, they're not so-called, they're macronutrients. I call them the N-word. There's nothing percentages of anything. Actually, if you just take points one and three, that'll get you where you need to be. 
keep your carbs 20 grams or fewer a day. That pretty much guarantees that you're following page four because it's very difficult to keep carbs 20 grams or fewer a day and eating anything off of that page, away from that page. Well, keep in mind that not every appropriate food can be listed on a page of one, you know, eight and a half by 11 sheet. But keep your carbs 20 grams or fewer. Don't eat if you're not hungry. That's it. Burning out. So if you feel overwhelmed with information, it's because there is an overwhelming amount of information out there. Again, not all of it accurate. Some of it very cynical. Some of it is geared towards selling you something. You do not need to purchase one thing to be 100% successful at this. You certainly don't need to purchase special food. I did a short the other day. started doing a couple little shorts on YouTube, like 60 seconds or, or shorter. Because I, I'm asked often, when are you going to go back to eating regular food? I do eat regular food. It's great. It's delicious. Eggs, bacon, poultry with the skin, ribeye steaks, pork chops, lamb. Um, more ribeye. <laughs> Sour cream, heavy cream. I drink coffee. I just lay off the carbs. Okay. You don't have to purchase one thing to be 100% successful. So now, from the Shameless Commerce Division, um, apologies to the car top guys. These are just knickknacks and things. And I like, I like uh, uh, designing things. You can get these at my blog. There's a pop socket, which I didn't know was a thing. And then I didn't know I needed one. And now I love it. This one says, food is not the boss of me. Go keep it with Casey. And some of my patrons get cards that I design. This my worth. My girth is not defined by my worth. A magnet. Are you here out of hunger, out of habit? Lay off the carbs. Lay off the excuses. The mug, you can get that at Teespring, which is under here. I'm, I'm talking fast. I'll stop in a second. Steel water bottle. Go keep it with Casey with my silliness on the back. And either at Amazon, which you'll get a couple of dollars cheaper and faster, and you can get it in other countries. Uh, Go keep it with Casey. 12-month record book with trackers and witticisms. Or a spiral version you can get at my blog. This is really the better one for if you're going to open it up and write it. Up. Okay, there you go. You don't have to buy anything. I didn't buy anything. Now, I ultimately got some uh, keto sticks, which are urine reagent strips. They were $9.99 at the pharmacy. I got them just to see. And I haven't used one in, God, I don't know how long, years. I did buy, at first I bought a precision extra glucometer that happened to also read ketone strips, beta-hydroxybutyrate. Um, but they were really expensive. Then came out the Keto Mojo three or four years ago. And I switched to that. Uh, the strips are a lot cheaper. I like the device itself a little bit better. You can see that on my blog too. It's one of the, but you don't have to test. You don't need to test. You don't need meal plans. You don't need special foods. If a food product in the store has the word keto on it, it almost 100% certainly is not. It's the opposite. They can say whatever they want. I could put out a line of Casey's Keto Supplements and Electrolyte Water. No one's going to say boo to me. It's unregulated. Step away from the screens. If you have food issues, the last thing you need to be doing is staring at a bunch of YouTube channels and Facebook groups about food. You just don't. Learn how to roast a chicken or grill a steak. Learn how to... You know, learn how to do certain cooking things, but not recipes. Just learn how to cook and then lay off the carbs. But constantly looking at images of food cannot be good if you're trying to not eat. One thing, I wanted to feel better so that I could start living my life again. I was living and I have a happy life. I've always had a good life. I was not happy in my brain. And I was, I had receded a lot from my activities. So, and those activities do not include trolling for more videos about food or how to do keto. You lay, you lay off the carbs. That's what you do. And don't eat if you're not hungry. If you're getting burned out, ask yourself, how can I feel better about this? Step away from the glowing. And I know that I'm talking to you from a glowing screen. If everybody in the world that would ever listen to my voice is happy and healthy and fit, 
I would do something else. And I would be happy that that was the case. But some, some of us continue to struggle. And keep in mind, this is not a set it and forget it thing. Every day is a practice, mostly because of the don't eat if you're not hungry. That's mostly food is easy. Don't eat if you're not hungry. Ugh. We have to unlearn decades of habit. We have to build new habits. Step away. Pick wh whatever sources you like. I mean, they can be, you know, the antithesis of me. That's fine. Find a source that speaks to you, that gives you good information. Stick with it and kind of let go of the rest, for heaven's sake. Get out and do something with your life. Let's not burn out. This is too important. This is not about wearing cute clothes. This is about avoiding type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, joint pain, coming off of medications. Think of all the, the impact of all of those things, not just on the individual, but on their families and on their communities and on the healthcare system. On insurance premiums that all of us end up paying. This is too important to screw around with. It just is. We need to take care of ourselves. One of the best ways to do it is to lay off the carbs. Let's face it, nobody really believes that Cheetos are good for us. And yet, there's probably somebody right now eating Cheetos, listening to this. They're not good for you. Put them down. There is no nutrition in them. The only reason we should be eating is for nutrition. Ask yourself, how nutritious is this handful of tortilla chips? They're not. And I thought I couldn't give up tortilla chips. And I couldn't until I did. I will now turn. I want to say thank you to patrons. I know some are here. Um, plug to them. I have a, a, a private support group at patreon.com. It's a wonderful group of people. Um, and depending on your pledge level, I do. you get 20 uh, video snippets from me a month. That's one every weekday. On, and the, uh, patrons choose the topics. They, there's a snippet topic suggestion spreadsheet that uh, everyone has access to or a handful of patron-only live streams on Crowdcast a month, a handful of patron-only video group sessions on Zoom a month, and the opportunity to uh, have a 50-minute one-on-one with me a month. Okay, there you go. Thank oh, and a private, secret, only, members-only Facebook group. I know I said Facebook groups, go step away. But this one is private and hidden. Nobody can get into it unless they're active patrons. And I have to invite them. Okay, I'm just going to start looking at the comments. Hey, Candice. No sugar, no starch has improved my blood glucose number so much. I'll stick with it no matter how slow the weight loss. Exactly. Cindy C writes, keto, 14 months down, 46 pounds, five pant sizes. Today, scale showed me at lowest weight in 27 years. Brava, brava. Still moving toward goals. Uh, Grace Custom Trim. Hey, Craig. Preach it. K-I-S-S. Keep it simple, silly. It is such a simple diet that people try to overcomplicate, usually those trying to sell you something. Exacto mundo. Miko Staines, thanks, B. Gray. Good advice. Yvonne Gilman, I tried to lift a bag of cement and I couldn't do it. So heavy. It weighed the same as the weight I have lost in the last six months. That keeps me going. Think about that. I used to walk around with that. Um... And writes, I got off all social media last January and really limit YouTube videos. It is very freeing and thinking about taking a break from YouTube for a little while too. I highly recommend it. I don't watch any of the, somebody asked me, who do I follow? I don't follow anybody, honestly. I'm, I'm lucky I'm friends with some people. <laughs> so I don't have to follow them on social media. I get to talk to them. Um I follow a couple of channels that are very technical oriented. I do like doing graphic stuff and I'm working on a 2022 calendar. I wasn't really pleased with last year's Go Keto with Casey calendar. I mean, I'm, you know, it just wasn't very, I'm trying to make one more creative and more specialized. So I'm having to learn some really cool graphics programs. 
So I, I don't follow these channels. I look at those videos because I'm trying to learn how to do something. And uh, it's fun. Neuroplasticity. <laughs> Loris Nitschke writes, I thought I couldn't give up popcorn or tortilla chips, but I did. I just made a delicious snack with celery stuffed with cream cheese, mixed with garlic herb seasoning, and topped with bacon. How can anyone complain about that? That's fantastic. Queenie in the house. I'm not here to bash a vegan diet. I lost 40 pounds on it. But I also lost hair and bleeding gums and had serious fibromyalgia. A low-carb diet took all that away and is repairing me now. There goes Jack. Listen, I have no qualms with vegetarian, vegan, low-fat, move more, eat less. Whatever works. Some people love the structure of Weight Watchers. There are many paths that can lead to the same destination for me. This was the charm. Now, keep in mind, this was my third at bat. First was in 1977. I only wanted to lose like you know, a very few pounds. I was in college. I got the Atkins book, Diet Revolution, lost the weight, threw the book away. Then I, you know, then it came to be, and I didn't really need it because I was really cute. Then I started to get really heavy in my mid-20s after um, my second pregnancy. And I simply never lost that weight. And I just kept getting bigger and bigger. But by this time, uh, low carb was considered, you know, a death sentence. And so I tried low fat and I tried Jane Fonda. You know, I got the book and I did the exercises from the book. I didn't even have a video cassette recorder to do the actual videos. And I kept trying... I tried again in the early 2000s. I let me true that low carb again. I lost some weight. Then, as people say, life hit me. I, I can now say this 100%. I can identify with people say, I was doing great and then life came at me. Life always comes at us. I, re, I had been diagnosed the second out of three, third, three times. I didn't know it was the second of three. Second time with cancer. I got really ticked off. I had lost some weight. The, within 15 minutes of getting that diagnosis, I ate a bagel. I'm so mad. Let me give it, you know, I have a bagel. Well, you know, so I immediately went up and wait. I started eating everything and that quickly led to mashed potatoes and tequila to tell you the truth. And guess what? I still had cancer. It didn't cure it. Eating carbs did not bring back my late brothers or my late mother or my late father. They were, they're still gone. Eating carbs did not solve any issues for me. Eating did not solve anything. The only thing eating helps is hunger when you're actually hungry. Okay, back to y'all. Hi, Casey from Maryland. Late to the party again. That's okay. Okay, um, I, maybe this is not the case. Um, people do ask me how to get notified about live streams or anything else. First of all, you need to subscribe, which I hate asking for, you know, but... Anyway, you have to be subscribed. Hit the notifications bell icon. But you also have to have on whatever device you use, allow for those notifications. Because some, some default to no notifications come through. So you have to go through like, if you're on your iPhone, go to settings, notifications, allow YouTube to send notifications. Tammy Bales writes, doing Dr. Westman's prescription uh, keto down 71 pounds. The biggest thing is knowing when you're actually hungry. Act, that is a hard thing. We have to learn. Around Go Keto with Casey, we practice. We push the peckishness. We think, oh, I have a little twinge. I'm hungry. Well, it's not really. You're kind of peckish. It's like, it's like the, the analogy, uh, our friend Michelle in Michigan, it's like when your, um, your gas light comes on, fuel tank light comes on in the car. It doesn't mean... You need to immediately, in a rush, pull off the side of the road and go get gasoline. I mean, it's, you know, you've got about 60 or 70, whatever it is, cruising miles left. You're going to need gas soon. So peck is like when the, the fuel light comes on right at the beginning. Unlike the fuel light, I can remain at that same level of peckishness for hours. And then, then I'm hungry. You're right, though. And congratulations, Tammy. Candace V writes, I've noticed my hair is coming back and my eyelashes are getting longer again. Excellent. Um, 
Larice writes, my coffee has 3.3 grams of carbs. That's a big chunk of my day. What do you do about coffee? Well, I, I'm assuming that the carbs are coming from cream. Coffee doesn't have carbs. Actual coffee doesn't have carbs, unless you're using some kind of flavored coffee. Coffee doesn't have carbs. So whatever we do, heavy cream, which we use, both my husband and I, um, is limited to two tablespoons a day precisely because it's calorically dense and carb dense for what it is. So we actually measure it out, <laughs> two teaspoons per mug of coffee. And I have three mugs a day usually, so three teaspoons, three times equals two tablespoons. Okay, Amigo Stains writes, your black coffee is 3.3 grams. How? I thought all black coffee was. It, it is. And uh, unless they put some kind of flavoring. Joni Sanchez, I'm back. Yet another attempt at this way of eating. It's okay. Some of us need a few at-bats. Uh, Judy writes, I got the notification. I was just stuck at the vet longer than I anticipated. By the way, I shared this with my with the patrons. I took Jack, our dog Jack, to the vet for just booster shots and everything. And I feed him homemade pet food, which is actually keto. And, uh, and now we're also feeding Luna, our formerly outside cat. She was a stray, but she just never left our property for, she's going to be 18 next year. Uh, I mean, next month. Um, and I worried that Jack, maybe, you know, you worry because you're supposed to eat all this kibble and stuff. And I didn't tell her about the homemade food. I said, is Jack's weight okay? She said, he said, she said, oh my, Jack should be on posters showing what a healthy dog should look like. There you go. And he's fleet of foot and happy. <laughs> Amanda J writes, ha but Casey, I'm a filler up and a half a tank person. Well, that can be good if you want to make sure you don't run out of gas. Fortunately, we are not internal combustion engine driven. We are humans. So we don't have to fill up when we're, you know, halfway. But I get your, I get your joy, your joke. Larissa, a carb manager gives me three, did you look at the label? Look at the label on the thing. Carb manager, don't let an app tell you what to eat. Look at labels. The, you know, it, it's not like you're putting 600 types of food in your mouth that it would be hard. Just write it down on a piece of paper. Black coffee, zero carbs. Unless it is some kind of flavored international house, whatever, something like that. Yeah, B grades, it's zero. Uh, what do you feed, Jack? Just curious. I did make a video about it. I won't go into this because I made a video about it. It's on my channel. Um, title is Keto Dog Food. Um, oh, goody. Our chicken waterers were delivered from Amazon. I placed the order yesterday. Um, I just got a notification. Okay, so burnout. First of all, tr we don't need to be emotionally burnt out. Set expectations. This is not about what a scale reads. It's not about what an app tells you you should weigh. This is about feeling better, being more clear-headed, getting better rest, coming off of medications. And if losing weight is in there, huzzah, fantastic. Feeling better about ourselves. That's what we want. Feeling better and better about ourselves. The other burnout is there's just too much information. Take up a different hobby. You know, if, if, if our hobbies are about looking at food videos or keto videos or joining every Facebook group, honestly, is that logical? No, no, it's not. And it can be counterproductive. Do whatever Gray's custom trim is doing, which I think is what I did, which is laying off the carbs. I think Gray would say that. What kind, not a chicken was delivered, a chicken waterer, nipples. We had a little incident with our, up in the coop. But you, when our chickens have come through the mail, they go through the U.S. Postal Service when you get them from most hatcheries. It's amazing. They come a little like the shoebox size. Cheep, cheep, cheep. And like they would have been hatched the day before. Hey, Kathy, Catherine Fair. I just saw an ad for a label for a label we used to love. It said keto. It rhymes with, I know, whim -wast, right? All they did was slap the, show them about slim fast. All they did was stick the word keto on it. It's the same slim, plas, slim fast. I did slim fast. I did the subway diet. I did the summer of the triathlons. 
I did uh, juicing. You know, after I saw that movie, fat, sick, fat, and nearly dead, or whatever it was. Of course, that guy put the weight back on too. Uh, Queenie in the house made family tortellini and garlic bread last night. And for the first time, it made me kind of nauseous looking at the pasta. You get to that point. It's like, you know, I will find myself my lip curling. You know, we don't go out to restaurants really anymore because, frankly, we can cook at home everything we love. And it's easy and it takes seven minutes. But like food commercials, I find myself going, mm. and before that would have triggered me wanting it. And it was like. Oh, yeah, I'm getting a little headache looking at it. Okay, Carla Reeve writes, during 2020, I did sugar-free, grain-free keto list. Absolutely nothing. During 2021, I only eat one ingredient foods, almost carnivore. I've lost 35 pounds. Thanks so much for your support. Absolutely. Um, you know, I'm kind of carnivore, but I'm not, it's not an objective. It's just kind of the way I've evolved. We've got summer vegetables. We had a garden. So there's a bunch of 100 billion cherry tomatoes and okra. And I've already put some of those and we've eaten a lot of them, peppers and things, but they're seasonal and we'll enjoy them. But pretty much I, I, I'm not that much into the vegetables anymore. I like vegetables. Um, okay. Oh dear. Um, okay. I'm going to sign off. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your Saturday. Remember, keep your carbs 20 grams or fewer a day. Total not net. If it's not on page four, link below. Don't eat it. Don't eat it if you're not hungry. Stop when you're satiated. Thank you to my patrons. I've often said, I think people join that group not to get access to me, but to get access to each other. It's a very supportive group. So thank you. Be sweet. Stay safe. Lay off the carbs. Lay off the excuses. Bye now.